Matson, five-time ACC Player of the Year. So I played here for five years. Our coach, Karen Shelton, legend, 42 years here, most national championship titles out of any field hockey program. Since my sophomore year, it was always like, okay, coach might retire this year. No one wanted her to go. I didn't want her to go. We were undefeated national champions my freshman year. Then we did it again sophomore year, two years in a row. So it was like, okay, she has to go out on a high. And then, you know, we did it again. And then the one year we didn't win, it was like, all right, well, she's not gonna retire on that. Then we had the mindset as a team, you know, that we're playing for coach because we knew it was coming to the end. And then that's when the conversation of was like, who was it gonna be started. Aaron was always like a vocal teammate, always like kind of knew the right thing to say um, and the right thing to do. So a lot of the players, whether she was a freshman or a senior, everyone looked up to her as like a leader. I think there were rumors like, oh, Aaron Matson's gonna be the coach. And I heard about those and I was like, wait a second, this is not, like I'm playing in a season right now. No, this doesn't need to be a thing. And then the more, you know, I thought about it, I went to our athletic director and I said, I, I want this job. When, I'm, when I graduate. And I think he was like, I never would have expected you to come say that to me, but I'm glad you let me know now. And he said, go win a national championship and then we'll talk. And the Carolina Tar Heels have completed the undefeated season, culminating to their 10th national championship. We won. So then I went back to him and I said, okay, I did what you told me to do. I'm serious about this, I want this job. And he was like, all right, like, you know, you got to apply. I had tons of interviews and I had to work for it. And then January 31st came along and it was the typical sliding of the paper across the table. You've, you've got this job, um, emotional for about 30 minutes and then it was, okay, we have practice. <laughs> the first time that she was announced as our head coach, I was like, your new head coach is Aaron Matson, And everybody was like, I didn't think it would actually happen. And then she walks in and she's like, well, guys, like, I know this is a bit awkward right now, but I'm your new head coach and we're gonna get through this together. The player's response has been great and everyone has respected her role in kind of like the balance and kind of separating like our social lives now and all those little things. Literally just played with her last season and it's been crazy to be a part of that adjustment and that transition, but it's also been such a blessing. That's the attitude we need, let's go. Transparency has just been huge for us. As I said it to them on day one, just in unique times like this, it's, hey, I'm going to be open with you. I need yeah. you to be open with me. You guys are way better than you're playing right now. Okay, just believe in that and then act like it. Get it on cage, get on the rebounds. I criticize you because you can be great, yeah? We see like little hints of Coach Shelton being brought out in Aaron and everyday practice and even the things she says sometimes, I'm like, well, sometimes I think that's Coach Shelton. Don't telegraph heels, you're way too dropped. Don't force it. She's basically taken what Coach Shelton has done and kind of revamped it, made it her own. It's all detail oriented and it shows how much she cares for this program and for us individually as well. That was fun, yes. I show up here every day and literally pinch myself that this is what I get to do. I love this place like no other and my heart tells me it's where I'm meant to be and to be able to put all of my energy into something I respect and care for so much, it means a lot.